at our town packed in right now. We got to come down here. We'll be here until seven o'clock. Now there's an area very close to Paxton that is probably some of the most historic in central Illinois. You probably don't even know that it's there. Sarah Livesey with Grand Prairie Friends is here to tell us all about it. Good to have you, Sarah. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here. So this is part of the original Grand Prairie right? What was the Grand Prairie? Yes, so the Grand Prairie Division is a stretch of land. It's a, a national or natural area that extended from uh, just north of here down to about Charleston, Illinois, and then if you can imagine east over to the Indiana border and west out to about Bloomington, Illinois. And so that was an area of tall grass prairie. We're talking 88 percent wow. of the landscape was tall, wet grass prairie or taller than a man on horseback, as they say. Yeah. yeah. And so the Grand Prairie Friends was organized, you were telling me, 40 years ago to preserve what there is. You know, the land that we're all farming now used to be Grand Prairie, and now there's just these little bits. So tell us what the Grand Prairie Friends is about. Yes, so just about 40 years ago, a group of concerned citizens came together and realized these areas are being lost at a rapid pace. And so due to urbanization and agriculture and all kinds of things, and so they banded together to save our first prairie, which was Shortline Prairie up by Gifford, Illinois. And then we continued throughout Loda and Paxton areas, uh, and now we have over 1,100 acres of natural space. Which is wonderful, but that is a very small proportion of yes. what was here from the days of the Grand Prairie. Yes, so originally, Illinois in this stretch, like I said, was 88% tall grass prairie. Today, we have one one hundredth of 1%. Which makes conservation efforts like what you guys are doing that much more important. Absolutely. I want to talk about prairie, Prospect Prairie, yes. which is just out of town here. So, yes. so this is an, really an amazing project. And I want you to tie in as you tell me about this, how you find these places. Mm. And, and this is a former cemetery, right? And that's one, one of the places you find original Grand Prairie? It is. So if you think about it, where were the places that were saved? Those were the places where you wouldn't want to build or the plow couldn't reach. And those are our cemeteries and our railroads. And so we manage about four cemeteries and we manage about three railroad right-of-ways. And that's those areas that the seed bank was left intact. So we have those original tall grass plants still thriving like just south here at the Paxton uh, Prospect Prairie. So much of your work relies on the work of volunteers. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your volunteers, how people at home could get involved. Uh, and we just saw the map, right? So there's there's locations throughout central Illinois yes. if people want to get involved. So how, how do people do it and what do volunteers do? Absolutely. So our volunteers do everything from actual hands-on land management, collecting seed, planting the plants. We actually had volunteers just out of town here today uh, trying to hand pollinate an endangered uh, orchid. Uh, wow. We also have volunteers that help us with special events and we'll just uh, stuff letters sometimes. So you don't have to be completely mobile. You don't have to be a land uh, steward to help. We need everyone in this effort. And we're almost out of time, but real quick, tell me about how people can donate land. Uh, yes. So a lot of our land is families that want to continue their heritage and keep these places safe. As a land trust, a conservation nonprofit land trust, that's the work that we do. So we encourage you to visit GrandPrairieFriends.org and reach out to us. That's perfect. I love it. Sarah Livesey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. GrandPrairieFriends.org. You just saw it right there on your screen. You got to check it out. They're doing amazing work here.